Okay, we are here. Good morning. It's Soho Live today. Soho Live. Time to keep it quiet down there. Go over there and say, better in class to be in class quietly. For gosh sake. Man's trying to work here. Yeah? Oh, quiet on the set. Chat quietly. Chat quietly! <laughs> we have a new filmer. We have a new filmer, don't we? Yes. Who are Mark, you? Rebecca. Is that, are you, are you saying, is that like yes? Yes, you, this is, this Re is Re Re Rebecca, <laughs> a new social media diva. So I said quiet and they still do shut up. It's like uh, crazy. Okay, what are we going to do, Jana? Is right. that right, Jana? Perfect. Yeah. Let's have a look. We're going to do Jana's hair. I need to do my own hair. <laughs> Show us the picture. Oh, cute. Get close. Come super close. There you go. Now everyone can see. See that? Good morning, Tony. Oh, hello, William Williams. Nice to hear you. Good talking to you today. I like the length here. I like the choppy bangs. She's got a lot of hair. What do we shampoo it with, Dana? Submerge rehab. She's she's. <laughs> we shampooed with rehab and then conditioned with submerge. Be be a true professional. <laughs> yes. Yes. There you go. It's all about the magic, and we've got a, two great haircuts for you today. We've got super thick and super mysterious over here. Yeah, that's super mysterious. Yeah. But we'll dive into Mr. Mrs. Mysterious, but first we're gonna give. Jana, I say that, don't I? I got my razor. Quick, 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 quick! If you want to learn razor cutting, give me the gold one. Let's go. Let's upgrade it. My friend Sanjoy sent me a special new one. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna. I'll we'll try it. Hold on. You can put that. We'll save that for mysterious. So that's a new one. It's gold shaft. Tell me whether you like the gold shaft. I've heard everybody. Everybody likes a gold shaft. <laughs> It's my next movie, The Golden Shaft. <laughs> <laughs> the Golden Shaft. Austin Powers. Open it up, like so. V for victory. Place it in, to your, into your fingers. Remember, I'm teaching class on February the 3rd and 4th, here in my Soho Academy. Push, rotate. This is a razor by, I believe, Great Lakes is the company. They make these brilliant razors. Sanjoy, if you want to talk to Sanjoy, talk to me and I'll hook you up. Sanjoy says thanks. Oh, you're very welcome, Sanjoy. Sanjoy, type in your company and your contact info so people know. And I'm going to send this one back to you, Sanjoy, but I thought I'd use it today. I like it. I'm behind my red wall. Because <laughs> we've never been here before. Yeah. I'm not filming uh, Crooklyn Live. Okay, so what we'll do, come round here, young lady. That's it, we're gonna get right in here. Now don't forget, Rebecca's brand new. She's very uh, successful on social media, and now she's my filmer, so you're gonna have to get to know her. Is that okay? And she's got long hair. <laughs> oh, no, I've just, don't, I've don't just, I just, I just spotted <laughs> long hair, which means long hair. Okay, classic section. We're gonna section it down the center. Uh, she's got she's got a ton of hair. Yeah, we call this a ton of hair, don't we? I, I bet you're so happy, aren't you? Oh yeah. And I'm talking to okay. to oh. I've got Dana, Dana, and Jana. <laughs> I bet you're happy, Dana, because you don't have to make it straight. Oh boy. Oh boy. So now what we're gonna do? It took, it took you a long time. <laughs> we're gonna go straight in with this razor. And I'm just going to nibble the outline. Just, are you, we call this using kind of the edge of the blade because I'm placing the edge of the blade and rotating round. You're getting a good angle. Yeah, you're doing good. Rotating round. This is what you would learn on my two-day razor class, which is coming up at the end. Do you want to pass my scissors, please? Uh, Olivia, when I use scissors on a haircut, I use it right at the beginning, if I'm razor cutting, because she's got a low hairline, so I just, I'm going to tighten that up. I don't want to razor it at the end, 
because if I, I don't want to scissor cut it at the end, because if I scissor cut it at the end, it's going to cut out all the razor in. So I can just establish a nice foundation right here. Notice how I rest. So I can focus a nice foundation right here and just kind of chip away. Keep everything nice and clean. No need for trimmers. I just use my scissors. Yeah, no need for trimmers. And then we're just gonna get this right. And then I'm gonna spray a little bit of Hydro Mist into the hair because Hydro Mist is our spray conditioner. And our spray conditioner is, uh, is brilliant to work with as you cut. Head up. So come back here, let's have a look. You can see your guideline. So you just wanna kind of get your baseline in. That's it. Great job. Hello, Rose. Hey, Tyler, I've been looking at your work as well. Very cool. So now we'll switch it. Switch up my scissor. I've got my hydro mist. It's not my hydroponic. It's my hydro mist. I'm going to spray it. I'll give it to Dana. No, Jana. <laughs> Dana. What? All I need is Donna. <laughs> and I'll be okay. And now we're gonna start to what I call open the blade up because we don't need to make this too thick and clean. We gotta bust it out. We gotta break up the texture. And the shorter we go, kind of the better. So just be careful. Look at my holder, I know. Because okay. if I'm here, <laughs> yeah, you're good. To don't, you don't have to get right. too far away, okay. but just it's hard to see as we're learning the ropes on... Facebook Live. Ashley Wilson says hello. Hello, Ashley Wilson. Cheryl Sheldon Gamis loves your work and thinks you're awesome. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm going to stay on this side a little. This will help Rebecca get really good, uh, really good focus on the on this side. Usually I'll cut side to side, but I'm going to focus a little on this side. So then Rebecca gets used to kind of being up close and personal with that with me and my straight edge razor because I don't want her to bang me and then slice my finger. So you comb the hair nice and taut and you'll see we call this open razor cutting. And it's very controlled movement because uh, you want to engage with the hair really, really well. With an open blade, with an open blade. This, when I move the blade up and down, it's called an open razor. So in the studio today, in Soho, we have training. We have hair color training upstairs right now. We've got the color team in. We also have our training for our uh, young talent. That's what you gotta be careful of. See if you bang. So our young talent, they've got class. We have class every single day. We closed down our Tribeca salon. We moved, relocated all the team here because we're actually just started our renovation. And our renovation is going to cost me a fortune. Yeah. But we're going to actually create our first and a really amazing digital studio that we're going to create in our um, in our academy downtown in Tribeca. So that should be complete by March. So if you come in for the trade show, I think you'll uh, you'll be able to maybe we'll try and get it ready so that at the trade show, the IBS, maybe we'll have a launch party. Have you been down there yet, uh, Rebecca? I don't think so. Well, you'd well, you know, wouldn't you? No. Yeah? So you've not been, have you? I've been you? inundated with a lot of info. You've been on it. Yeah, you, you, you don't know where you've been. Who knows where you've been? So you'll see, I'm taking quite healthy sections here. I call it a healthy section when it's a thicker section. And I'm just pushing my gold razor through the hair. At this stage of the game, I'm actually gonna pull the hair straight out and I'm gonna kind of tip in and just add a little bit more space into the cup. 
Again, I've stayed focused just on one side, just for the ease of the filming. How's your arm doing? Are you doing okay there, Dana? Mm -hmm. It's all right, it's a good workout. It's a good workout. Good. New Year's resolution. Look at how open the blade is right now. This is a super open blade. As I slowly, well, not slowly, because I want to work quickly, because she's got more hair than uh, the three of us put together. Yeah, thanks for the workout today, Jenna. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. What do you do for a living? I am a ballet dancer. A ballet dancer? A teacher, ballet teacher. Yeah. And I am an actress. Very good. How's it all going? It's going well, busy. Excellent. This will be the last point that I'll cut and then I'll start working on the, on the opposite side. As I said earlier, we're actually, uh, we're just kind of cutting one side first. Now I'm gonna cut this side so you can stay right in the same place. And I'll just do exactly the same. Working with my razor comb, all of our tools, if you've tuned in before, you can tune in again. All of our tools are available on erosiopro.com. If you're looking for scissors, razors, clips, refill blades, erosiopro.com. Of course, we're going to be in Long Beach at the ICE show or the ISSE show, whatever you want to call it. We'll be heading there uh, literally next, next Friday, so our week tomorrow. And we're taking our, our new booth. It's our new demonstration platform. It's pretty spectacular. And uh, it's like our little arena. So definitely come and check us out at the ISSE show. We're gonna be super excited to uh, share, you know, our creativity, our passion. We have a new team member on board. His name is Michael May May Maya. Or M I'm not so 100% sure how you pronounce his last name. But Michael, and he's been in the uh, relationship business for many years. He joined our team. He's now stationed, present in North Carolina, but he's gonna be heading to the East Coast, uh, oh, he's gonna be heading up north to New York in the spring, and he's gonna be traveling with us a lot, helping to build our culture in salons across America. So he's actually heading to South Carolina today, so welcome to the club, Michael. And if you're in California, come and say hi to Michael and Valeria. Uh, relationship builders all right in the distance there you can see our mystery come over here young lady I think it's time well bring over your picture let's have a look and see what we're gonna do you got it let's have a little look ah you are covered in tattoos aren't you you're like a little piece of art aren't you hey yeah a little so we're gonna go for this we'll show me those super sharp bangs there yeah so let's have a look so you can see we're going to take this shorter we're going to cut this out we'll do like a really nice joan of arc to go with the three first letters arc yeah we'll do our joan of arc right here let's get a shampoo to olivia color save shampoo let's use our whip treatment as the conditioner it's going to lock in the moisture leave it in for a few minutes and you come back around here okay You doing okay, Jenna? Yeah. So don't forget, we have uh, Rebecca behind the camera. If you have questions, definitely fire them out. We have a couple comments. Okay, uh, good. Jessica C. Lawrence says, good morning. Good morning, Jessica. Todd Dowell, thanks you. He says if it wasn't for Brooklyn Live, he'd probably still be using a guard and using same old techniques. Very good, Todd. Hopefully we'll get to Canada this year. Ashley Wilson, oh sorry, <laughs> Ashley Wilson wonders if you remember her, she uh, almost apprenticed with you in 2007, so. Uh, no, but you sh uh, why didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would have. <laughs> Jessica C. Lawrence likes that two-toned razor. You, oh, you like it? Yeah. Oh, so okay. Everybody likes the gold shaft. Everybody likes the gold shaft, yeah. baby. Yeah, it feels good, it's a slightly newer... Uh, you know, I've got a different style, but I actually like the other style that I'm going to use in a minute a little bit more. But this is pretty nice. It's heavy. 
It's got a good weight to it. It takes the feather plie blades. But yeah, it's got a little bling action to it, hasn't it? And it's actually made of titanium and it's gold plated. All right, very cute. So we got up to the, the back. Now I'm gonna stay right here. Kind of simplistic in design. This haircut, it's all about the razor. Yeah, because it is kind of a bob shape, but you've got to learn how much to reduce, how much to move, remove, how much to take out. That's the power of the razor. I'm gonna comb it back here. Watch this, it's a little channeling. Channel, channel, channel. You take out little channels. I can afford to do that with Jana's hair because uh, she's got a lot. You doing okay under there, ballerina? Yeah. Good. I think we might get ballet moves later. <laughs> I want to see a ballet move, you know? What do you think, Rebecca? All right. <laughs> All right, she says. So, yeah, we have color training today here in Soho, and we have color training in our Brooklyn location. So, it's a very exciting time for us. Sanjoy says you have the eye for what people like and want. Thank you, Sanjay. Okay. So there's the length. We're working all the way up. I've got Dana here who's here to help. Do you have Hello. me next week, Dana? Is that the plan? I'm here next week. Are you helping us next week? Is that the plan? I would love to. All right. Very good. As long as you, you know, I'm, you never know what question I'm going to ask about the products, Dana. <laughs> I'll so. get them straight. You better get them straight. I know. Right, it's important for me to do this side and catch up, keeping it balanced. So classic sections, notice how my sections rotated. When you come to Razor Fundamentals, which I'm teaching here in our academy in Soho on February the 3rd and 4th, and you can sign up for that class, and I'm teaching the class in its entirety, you can sign up for that class on erosiopro.com. And uh, it's a two-day class. It's hands-on all day, both days. You will learn how to really master the straight edge razor. There is no demonstration. It's all hands-on. So it's two days of hands-on education. And uh, we finish it off on February the 4th on the Monday. Well, if we're going to finish it off with Happy Mondays. So that's... Uh, great event and we're going to do happy mondays in soho because tribeca is under construction and we got some guest hairdressers coming in so we're, we're excited for that remember the channels i did so there's one there's two there's three you pull out your channels sounds naughty pull out your channels <laughs> working all the way up to just over the crown you learn to look through the hair. It's not your wrist that does the movement. It's just your finger. So finger, that would be kind of arm and that would be wrist. But I'm literally just using my fingertips to kind of push the blade up and down. And then I'll just toss it all around. You're getting like a hair storm here, isn't it, eh? Hair storm. Uh, Rick Jaramillo asks what techniques oh, are you teaching at the ISSC private class? Yeah, just let me come around there and I'll answer Rick. Rick, I'm going to be doing razor class. I'm going to do a micro razor class, three hours razor cutting. So I'll be teaching my razoring hands on at the ISSC. So if you're interested and you want to kind of practice your razor cutting, that's the perfect class to come on. Three hours at the ISSE. We also have American Wave certification at ISSE. And then later in March, I'm coming out to California to do a two day razor class at my dear friend Ginger, Ginger Boyle's salon. So we're excited for that. And Ashley wants to know if you're coming to London this year. Uh, uh, I don't think so, Ashley. I don't think I'm coming to London this year. But you know what? It's only the third week of uh, January, so you never know. Todd Dell says, I'm back. What did I miss? Nick dropping it like it's hot? Drop it like it's hot? I dropped it. I flipped it and reversed it. 
Sham pick a chicken now, now. So there you go, working in. Whoa, are you, are you freaking out? No. Good. Me neither. You got a scar here. I do. What happened? I Did was you... in a car accident. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, that's so bad. Everything okay? Yeah. Was that it? Did it bleed a lot? I, it did. I was unconscious. I was unconscious, but um, yeah, I don't remember it. But I had the scar, so I know it happened. They rebuilt yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Ashley couldn't apprentice with you because she uh, went into bridal hair and makeup. And she ah, was nice, Ashley. Bridal hair. Oh, I think I remember. Now I remember. Fine teeth of the comb, use the spine of the comb. I'm gonna use my white comb so you can see better. So again, this is the razor comb, but I use my white one you can see better. Now let, I, I know we've got a new camera person. Let her know how well she's doing. I wanna know if we give her the thumbs up, if she's doing a good job. You'll never know, I'll just tell you the thumbs up. I'll watch it later. <laughs> I'll watch you later, just be oh, dang, it. <laughs> dang it, she says, ding I should come round here. That's it. It's better if you're that way, because that you, we're, uh, you'll get to see the blade. See? That's good, you get to see the blade. So the spine of the comb. Now I don't want to layer out the top too much. I want to kind of keep the weight. So let's take this top panel I'll go with the wide teeth now. Just take the top panel, and let's just take that away. And a wide teeth of the comb, it's gonna give it a little bit less tension, because the hair's gonna shrink. I kinda, and I'm letting it just, the top section's a little bit more A-line. The underneath section was a little bit more square. Because I wanna just keep kinda like a bit of that length for now. I'm just gonna scoop it back, rotate. Look at the rotation in the hand. Yeah? Look at that. Here she is. Come over here, Alex. Alex, this is, she's. Sorry, are you talking to me? I'm sorry. I'm talking to you. Okay, I was in charge of Is she doing something? Teaching class today. You got hair on the floor, look. You got a lot of hair on the floor. Got a black head. There's like, it must have been a little blue. You got a lot of blue. Changes and bobs going on. Wow, a lot of hair. So Alex, are you going to be in Long Beach with us, yeah? I am, yeah. yeah. I'm very excited. And Alex works in our Tribeca location. How long you worked here now, Alex? About five years. Five years. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow. The time flies. When you're having fun. Every day is a blast of beauty. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Not for nothing, but I am getting a lot of compliments on how how in this I am, and thumbs up, so just throwing it out there. Bull <laughs> oh. <laughs> just no big deal. Not a two-year-old anything. Yeah. There's a lot of tooting. <laughs> a lot of tooting going on around here. Ashley wants to know if there's any new trends in filming coming. Oh, well, yes, there, you know, there's always new trends. Yeah? We're seeing a lot of short bobs, that's for sure, and we're doing two today. Color-wise, uh, we're, we're moving back into foil. So where we've been doing a lot of painting, we're doing a lot of foiling technique. And uh, color and tone wise, I think we're gonna be moving away from the super brights that we've seen. And uh, you know, it's, it's the new year. We're gonna slowly now, we're actually learning some new color uh, brand. We're working with L'Oreal Color. We're learning that in the salon. And we're gonna slowly start to develop because we do have our color trend classes coming up in March that we're teaching here in our academy. We do have a hair painting class and we also have a cut and color class, which is more of a fashion creative. So these are classes and that, we use the classes as a, a benchmark for us and uh, a benchmark for us to kind of develop our eye. And once we create our digital academy downtown, we're gonna really be filming and creating a lot more video content and creative content. So, a lot of good stuff happening. Pauline says good morning. Good morning, Pauline Wozniak. I'm sure that's Pauline Wozniak. Yeah.
Nice to see. We missed you. Happy Mondays, Pauline. But uh, we know we'll see you very soon. So keep it nice and clean. Notice it's just the finger moving. I'm going to be in Chicago on February the 11th. We're going to be doing a Happy Mondays. I'm going to see all of our friends in Chicago, all of our ambassadors. Uh, so we're going to have a hair gem in Chicago. So we're looking forward to that. So now I'm just going to take a little touch point and just check and see if we're on point. And I feel like we're moving in the right direction. Yeah? I'm going to continue through. We also have an open house for tonight. Cosmetology. Remember, we have two cosmetology schools. Last Thursday, we celebrated 10 years of our Soho school. So it was a packed night. Dana was drunk, but it was okay. Was that your boyfriend? Did you come uh, with a boy? I did. And who was that was, boy? Um, this is awkward. Uh -huh. <laughs> we just started seeing each other. Ah. Don't show him this video. Yeah, I know. Oh, Dana was with it. You, br you brought him on a date to the salon? <laughs> to a work event. <laughs> you brought him to a work event? Well, what'd you expect? He was bored. I was like, I have something to do, but he still wanted to hang out. So I was like, come on, ah. come on down. Let me show you where how you did it? How did it go? Was he good? Yeah. Yeah? It was fun. He was super well behaved. What does he do? He does landscape architecture. Oh, very nice. Yeah, he took plants and stuff. Okay, go. Yeah, it's good. All right, <laughs> you still doing good, Rebecca? Yeah, They're still liking you. Are you, are you, are you, you know, filming the back of my head? <laughs> it's yeah. just the back of your head. It's just the back of my head. They're learning a lot. Yeah, I'm sure. Todd Dow has an apprentice watching with him. Excellent. And, uh, she has a question. Yeah. What is the density of your model's hair, and does it matter what oh. razor technique you use? Yeah, she actually, she's got loads of hair. So let's call it uber dense. Yeah. Super thick. So yes, the thicker the hair, the more you can open the blade. You don't raise the because hair text. There's the, when you talk about hair. There's the actual texture of the hair itself, and then there's the amount of hair. So she has a lot of thick hair. So I can afford to really uh, push the blade in a lot, which is what I'm doing. Show me your picture again, young lady. Are they horses on your, uh, our unicorns? Unicorn, special Whoa, horses. Wow, the unicorn's back. Look at that, the unicorn is black. It's not only back, it's black. Picture. Cute, okay, so we're getting this kind of idea. So now we're gonna come to the front, chuck the bangs up, and then we're in the final furlong. Excellent, so let's come here. Hydro mist. Yeah. And that side's better, Rebecca, trust oh, me. Yeah. yeah. You tell it. Tell her everybody. <laughs> Ashley says haircut's looking awesome. Thank you, Ashley. Hydro mist, it's my hero product for cutting. Now let's get right in. Now I'm gonna push it back. I'm gonna take a triangle section for the bangaroonies. Okay, so that's a deep triangle section the triangles right here I'm gonna lift the hair I'm gonna add moisture we're not gonna go with short bangs but what we are gonna do is we're gonna try and get them to the eyebrow and we're gonna allow the bangs to move around you can see the wiggle she's got a real wiggle right there so moisture will really help you to get it right so there's the blade working in. There's the blade working into the hair. Second section. I know the hair's gonna jump. I wanna be able to see her face. She's cute, so she, we wanna see it. Yeah? And this is an open stroke, so you get softness in the hair. Ashley says your accent is a lot more American than the last time she saw you. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? 
I want a bagel and a schmear. <laughs> Get me my fanny pack. <laughs> Sarah asked, do you alternate razor to scissors to sit at, say, the next visit? Or in like say in six weeks, would you cut over the scissors and not get too much texture? That's a great if I was if she came back uh, six weeks from now and said, give me the same cut, just trim it, I would scissor cut it. And then I would finish it with a razor. Because if she liked it and you cut it with a razor and, and you, she asked for the same and you cut it with a scissor, she might think that she's not getting the same. But I explained that once I put the razor texture in, if I'm not taking a lot of hair out, I don't need to re-razor it again, because otherwise you razor everything to nothing. So combination cutting is always good. But communication with the client, that's what you gotta do. Communicate with the client. Okay, let's have a look. All right, so now it's time for me to... You stay right there. I got gotcha. you. As we're getting to know each other now. <laughs> We've got to do a little bit of layering around the front. Sarah's happy because that means she's doing it correct. She likes to hear that from a pro. Good. Thank you for the question. So that's like a very loose connection from the bang. See? Very loose connection. It's this stage that we start thinking about product. So the hair's dense. We want to put curl in the hair. We want to keep the hair working. Look at this channeling. This is like I call this channeling. So product wise, I'm going to go with a combination. I'm going to keep it in the family of uh, American Wave, but I'm going to use a product that as a brand we're going to prom promote out next week to all of our ambassadors. So what that does is it helps our people in the field, our hairdressers working in the salon, I'm going to show them how to use it. So what I'd like you to get me Dana is I want you to get me structure from American Wave and the cream whip from Erosio. So let's have a look in the mirror, it's good. And now let's do the other side before we go over to the mystery, to the mystery girl. Back. So again, remember we're just gonna loose. With a razor you can get this kind of loose connection. I like a nice loose connection. And then a little channel, channel. Wide teeth of the comb for nice combing. Want to keep the corner, but just loosely connect it. And then a little channel. So I kept the corner, but just channeled in. So Rebecca knows now. She's in front of the blade, she's in good shape. If you're behind this arm that's cutting, it's harder. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? She's saying nothing. Yeah, <laughs> she's saying nodding. nothing. <laughs> she's saying nothing. She's saying, shut up, Nick. <laughs> shut up, Nick. It's a little bit more. And I'll come around here. And I'll do the same here. So quite deep channeling right there. Rick would like to know if you're going to show how to blow dry. I am going to, we're going to diffuse. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to diffuse. So I'm going to put the products in. And really it's all about like what I like to call the wet set. And the wet set is what you're going to, the clients are going to love. And I'll tell you why the wet set your clients are going to love is because it's wash and wear hair. And wash and wear hair is all down to the product and the haircut. So if you've got great products, and then you do a great haircut, and then you teach your client how to do it, then she's gonna take the great product home. Yeah? That's what I talk to my friend Dana about all the time. Yeah? Oh yeah. But if you get the names wrong, you don't sound like you know your products. Do you? I do know the products. You do know the products. I'm just checking, I just wanna make sure. 
You volunteer, you're in the zone. Because when you know the names of the products, it makes you sound real good. Ashley wants to know, do you still do the no blow dry thing? I am going to do the no blow dry thing right here. Because the no blow dry thing is going to work for her. Because the last haircut we did was the blow dry thing. And this haircut that we're doing today is the no blow dry thing. Says it raises down, scissors up. Feel good? That's good, yeah? Let's comb the hair. And let's just have a look at sealing. I like to call this sealing the cuticle. I just seal the cuticle. I'm French today. <laughs> Bonsoir. Seal the cuticle. Now, do I have my diffuser? Do you want to get me my diffuser? You got it there, Dana, yeah? Right. All right, so you see what's happened is, look in the mirror, Re Rebecca. Okay, so you stand behind your client. And uh, I can see the shape, because I've got a light shirt on. That's, I was thinking about what you wear. Because if you wear something, you're always looking at your work, and this is like the canvas behind. So you wear something, if I, if I was wearing dark clothes today, it's hard for me to kind of see. We always have black capes in our salon because they always uh, look better. Of course they're clean, but they don't get stained or tainted. If you have a white cape, there's a good chance it's going to get some schmutz on it, some colour. So with black capes it's nice, it frames the face with that looks pretty good. You don't want to make it too perfect. You'll learn where to stop. So this is what we do in the salon. We take this off, yeah? Okay. Head forward for me. It's good. 40 minutes. So actually a little bit under 40 minutes for the cup. We book on the 45 in the salon. Great. I, I always have the right to change my product. So I'm gonna change my products. I've decided something different. Guess what it's gonna be. Come here. Waveness? There you go. What do we call it? Waveness. Great, good job, you had it right. I'm like, let's check it to make sure. Look at me the wave mist. I think the wave mist is our beach wave spray. It's our sea salt spray. This is a brilliant product. Um, it comes with a like a trigger yeah it's got a trigger also has a lock on it so if you're traveling you've got a lock so when you get this product this product is 24 dollars okay so i'm going to use wave mist that's going to give me the beachy wavy loose texture i changed it from the uh from the american wave to wave mist in a rojo product and look, I use a lot. Nice thing is this spray is just brilliant and it's designed in a way to use a lot. But now I'm gonna layer it with our product of our promo, Cream Whip. Okay, so Cream Whip is a weightless cream conditioner. Whenever I do products, I do it in front of my client. So you take the products and you show your client. And I like a nice big ball. You can hold that, okay? And you take this as a lightweight cream conditioner. It's very creamy. How does it smell? Oh, what does it nice. smell of? It did. How do you describe that? It smells like erosion. There you go, it smells like <laughs> erosion. Good, she did a good job, I love that. We love our fragrances. And we're just gonna push this cream whip into the hair. Now this is gonna help to kind of give it weightless uh, silkiness so the beach wave gives it a little grip and texture but this kind of locks the curls together so much more and you see how I push that in so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show my client I'm gonna tell her she's gonna comb it so she combs it with a white tooth yeah I was in a salon last week the wax lounge in Philadelphia 
and uh, we were talking to clients and you know diva curl and curly haired clients well erosio has got great products for curl and we also have come right here Dana we also have American Wave which is uh, what we shampooed with it's our curl product so now I'm just taking like a zigzag section and I'm just locking in a little of that curl just around the front and then we're gonna have Dana go and do a magic while I go and have fun with Joan of Arc over there so just little twists this will this will sell your product yeah just show your client what to do so that's all we need to do there we don't need to worry about the back uh, comb the bangs through we're gonna let the bangs do its own thing because I can't control that. So a little zigzag section. You're light on your feet there, Rebecca, aren't you? Are you? You're very light on your feet. It's weather. Uh, you got, you, you're, like, you're, you're like move around, like very gently, like a uh, ninja. Yeah? Stealth. Stealth. You're like, you're like a, a ninja. We have a ninja social media. Pretty trendy too. Ripped jeans, wedges. How is people gonna know I'm edgy if I don't have uh, these things on? That's it. We're gonna sh we're gonna let everybody see your outfit at the end because I want to see what's on that t-shirt. Yeah. So again, just the final bit, and then show me the the dry with the diffuser. You wanna pass it over to me? Sure. That's very important too, because people think diffusing hair is easy. It's not hard. But this is our YS Park diffuser. You leave your nozzle on. You take this, you put it behind the handle. You place it over. And then this is our, uh, this is our large. Actually, it's our small. And it blows up. And then we're just gonna rotate. We're not gonna disturb the hair. But always keep your hand here. When you keep your hand here, you can feel the heat and this is the Erosio Twin Turbo Pro so it heats up makes the hair the hand very hot and it heats up okay you're gonna take that dryer you're gonna take that plug Thank you're you. gonna take that young lady right to the end Jenna. and we're gonna bring in uh, we're gonna bring in Miss, Mrs. Mysterious come on in Alex Jennifer says that looks amazing, Nick. Love watching her. Thank you, Jennifer. Right, so she draped you all wrong, but that's okay. All right, this is nice. Always make sure when you drape your client, you get it right. But when she came over, she had this thing on. And I'm like, what is that? What is that? I don't a know what that towel. was. It's a sweat towel. Nice. Are you, are you have a sweat problem? No, no, no. it's here on the... So, you know, towel dry your client. Take your towel. Fold your towel. The hair's not dripping. Fold the towel and put it on the side. Clean. Right, I'll be back. Don't worry, don't, don't. I'm seeing my new razor. This is the original. This is the Erosio handcrafted razor. We sell these on Erosio Pro. The nice thing is, is it's very skinny here. So with it being skinny there, it means that it's a, it's a, it's a better control. Okay, and remember, same thing. So, there's new people tuning in. Did you bring your phone with you? Yeah. Okay, mysterious one. Oh, look. Short bangs, a little longer through the back. That looks pretty dope, yeah? So we got like almost 400 people watching. You ready? Yeah. Good. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Do we have enough juice on the camera? Uh, uh, I can't check, unfortunately. Well, don't, don't worry, I'll <laughs> save it's getting low. Plug it in. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to my black comb. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attack at the front. Attack, attack, attack. So let's take this bang section and let's really go for it because she's mysterious 
and creative and hip. And we're gonna stay with her and make her. So that is a super, super deep section for the bangs. Kayla is very excited for this one. Me too. I'm gonna cut this first in here. So you're my helper, young lady. All right? You're gonna hold this for me. So let's go right in here. So I'm gonna take this, I've taken the bang section, got taken it out. I'm gonna cut this short in here, but I'm gonna keep a little bit of length so that she can get it behind. And we're gonna layer this back. And this is, and she's already got like a little shortness underneath. So when we over direct the hair forward, it means we're gonna keep length to the back. So stay there, young lady. That's you. She's like, yeah, yeah. many. She's looking at the, uh, and this is a good angle for you, yeah? Arcaia. What is it? Arcaia. Arcanus. Arcanus. That's a good American word, I reckon that. What is it? Is it American? It's Latin, is it? Yeah, it's Latin. It's Latin. The way she said it. It's Latin. Here you go. Let's get right in. I got a great client who's the... Uh, She's the head of uh, the Fashion Institute, and she has a little pudding bowl razor cut. So, I just reminded me when I was cutting right here. Gensu Vera says the best razor I own is a Rojo Straight Blade Double O Seven. Oh, 007. Hinsu, is that Hinsu? Yeah. Oh, I hope you. Hinsu, we're coming to LA next uh, next weekend. Definitely come, and we got to hang out. Let's have fun. So combing that hair forward. Fine teeth of the comb. Follow that, get right to the base of the scalp. Open that razor. And there you go, I'm opening it right now. And you'll see what we got. You see what we got there? So we got it nice and tight here. Just got the length there. That goes back, so now that kind of has that flow. How flow can you go? Flower then, you know. Next section, try and keep it as simplistic as possible. When they're overcomplicated haircuts, it's, um, sometimes the complexity makes the whole thing uh, not as efficient. Right now, I'm not following the guide. I'm kind of creating a new guide each time because it's more creative, more fluid, but I am trying to create like a curved section. I'm trying to create that kind of a section. And then I comb it back and I can go with the white teeth of the comb to see what happens. Another section. I might start to get a little noisy in here because uh, we're in our Soho location on Varick Street. And uh, we got a lot of team in today, all in training. Cut training and color training, and then you got little old, little old me, and uh, Mrs. Mysterious right here, and Rebecca with the long hair. So right there, I wanna keep the corner. So I just went with the tip. And you can lift this out, and look through there and just get the diffusion. Oh, and so don't talk about my balls in public. <laughs> you know what? It's a great lesson. When you study your hair, the best tool you have is your eyes. One, because your hands only do what your eyes can imagine. <clears throat> so it's absolutely correct. And with this being a little bit more creative, it is more visual. Remember, she wants to keep some like loose length in here. And she does have a little wave to her hair. Cute. Very simple technique right now. So just panning back and just over directing this hair forward. And the, the guide is right here. 
you can see if I push it back, you can see the guide. But when I cut, I feel it, because I can feel it, the thickness of the hair here. And as I comb, I see the thinness. I see it and feel it fall away. Knock that corner out. I'm using the flat of the blade. We're getting lots of likes for this. Good. We're using the, the flat of the blade to get lots of softness. So forward, flat. There's the guide here. Through, flat of the blade. So when I say flat of the blade, I'm like coming with the, this is slow motion. Yeah, so use the flat of the blade and you just taper that hair away. All right, let's get into the good bit. Let's come up this way now. So, Mrs. Mysterious has dried up already. She's definitely not sweaty. Yeah? So now we're gonna come in here. So you see that? So the hair jumps over, but she likes short bangs. Head down just a drop, perfect. So we're gonna take it super short. See, right on the hairline. See how short that is? Right to the hairline. You might wanna come around Rebecca. I'm bumping into chairs. <laughs> Sorry. That's it. There you go. I'll take my section. Comb the hair. Are you getting right on top? That's good. And now let's chew that away. Very controlled. Cut into what we've already cut. See that? So now let's do it again. Take the section. See the hair's dried out a little. But hydro mist, we like to say, is lighter than water because it's a very light product, but it comes out in a very diffused mist. It's called hydro mist, and it really is a mist. So what that means is it's great for razor cutting because it's great just to add that little bit of extra slip, softness and moisture in the hair. Nice. Is that looking good? looking good you can see right here nice and tight this was already cut let's come over here final section the final countdown forward flat of the blade now nice and open flat of the blade nice and open and just blending in I'm not even gonna I'm just gonna just do a little texture right there Come that forward. Now let's have a look in the mirror. Woohoo! I have a smile, I saw a smile, feels good. I got a, a mysterious smile. Alright, so far so good? Good. Uh, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to change our approach. Come around here, Rebecca. I know exactly what to do. <clears throat> if you watch the other side, I cut that, that side, I cut this panel first. I ain't gonna do it this time. On this side, I'm gonna do a different approach. Doesn't have to be the same. Yeah, especially when you're doing something that's on the more creative tip. Doesn't have to be the same. So we're gonna follow it all the way down and around. So right here, this is coming off. Nice and close. Got a good angle? So I'm really nice and close with my straight edge blade, right to the hairline. Let's keep that section nice and clean. If the hair gets a little on the dry side, use your hydro mist. 
It's a great product. If the hair's too wet, you can't see the hair. So you want the hair wet to the touch, but damn, now I'm right on the temple area here. Let's take that away. Yeah, get right into the temple. You can even pinch and just delicately melt that away. And now here, sharp to length. Not happy yet. Cut hair, not corners, that's what we say. Take another section. Hair's too dry. That's when I say this product's light. It really is light. And it adds a little slip and shine to the hair. So it makes it even better for styling. Steven says, looking so good. Steven, thanks for tuning in, buddy. Who is it, Steven who? Steven Adams. I kind of knew it was going to be Steven Adams. Congratulations, Steven Adams, for getting that nomination at NAHA. And we're looking forward to seeing you, Stephen, when you uh, when we get together in Long Beach, California. We've got lots to connect about. Stephen is our uh, core team trainer for our ambassador artistic team. We will be planning a special training for our ambassadors this Steve, year. My oh, thank you, Steve. So, if you're interested, you want to get more connected to Arojo, you want to work with us, you want to become one of our educators and you're not working in me in my salon but we're now using our network of hairdressers to help grow our culture and grow our brand and Stephen is our maestro I know he's going out to Cool Beauty my distributor in uh, Indianapolis and Kentucky and Michigan and he's teaching classes and that's exciting so congratulations on that Stephen and then of course Derek Anthony who's also part of our training mechanism. Derek, I was just in Derek's salon. Literally on that Monday, we had our first Happy Mondays of the month, of the year, and our first Happy Mondays ever in, uh, in D'Antoni's salon in Nyack, and what a great turnout it was. Rick wants to know, do you need your own tools? personal taste for the ISSC show class? You need to bring a razor and a, uh, a razor and a water spray, yeah. But if you want to borrow one from me, Rick, I'll borrow you mine. Steven says, looking forward to working with Cool Beauty. Yeah. Arlena wants to know if there's any classes coming up in California. Yeah, my classes in California, well, I'm doing some classes at the ISSE show, which is, uh, which is in Long Beach, California. That's literally in 10 days or 12 days from now. I'm teaching a three hour hands-on razoring class at the show and I'm coming back to California to Planet Salon to do my razor class and that's gonna be in March. You can check out arojonyc.com for our new class schedule. Our Academy brochure is being printed as we speak and the dates are live on our website. And you can sign up for not all the classes just yet, but for some of the classes, you can sign up for them on arojopro.com and that's gonna be where we sell our classes. But again, it's a, it's a lot of moving pieces, isn't it, Rebecca? Mm -hmm. Marissa says, great time at D&D Salon with you, Nick. Always funny and full of information. Oh, well, thank you very much. And it was... I wanna thank you for your information. Oh, thank you. So combing this hair forward, now I'm gonna use the tip. We call this tipping. Tip of the blade, just to diffuse. Look through the density of the hair. Like the ends there, it just doesn't feel right. It's very much like sculpture when you raise it. It's like sketching the haircut in, sculpting. You're crafting the shape. The best scissor cutters become the best razor cutters. Yeah. There's something right here that just doesn't feel right. I can use a scissor as well if I need it. Just want to diffuse in. Obviously it's a straight edge blade, so I got the full power of the tool. That's pretty good. 
And now there's a little smile from Miss, Mrs. Mystery. Mysterious. Ian uh, says, Morning, Nick, from sunny Manchester. Uh, is that Ian Amazing yep. Graham? Fiber hairdressing. Nice to see you, Ian. And thank God for Ole. Ole, Ole, Ole. Ron Cola says, Cut reminds me of London, 1970. Oh, Ron Khan, the man. How are you, buddy? I look forward to hopefully seeing you. We've just taken on a distributor in Florida. We're just finalizing that. And Ron Khan, I will be down in Florida a lot. If you're interested, I don't know where you, what your situation is with Salon or whatever. Get involved with what we're doing. Maybe think about joining the art team. You can find all the information that you need to know. Oh, we have an app. What's our app called, Rebecca? Arojo Social. Arojo Social. So we have a great app. It's called Arojo Social. So if you want to find out more about my business, you want to get connected, you want to connect with my culture, my company, you can talk to me, Rebecca, Andrew, Valeria, the entire team. We're on Arojo Social. It's an app downloadable from the App Store. It's a great app. We have a Spanish comment, but I ask it's Spanish. Ah, okay. No, I don't. Maybe they can give it us in English. I think it's good, though. Encanto, I think, is good. Sorry? I think, I think Encanto, that means something Oh, good. so we got something good. good. Can you speak Spanish? No. No. No, me no speak it to Spanish. All right, so like the bulk of the haircut's kind of done, yeah? So stand behind your client. Let's have a look and see. So she's got some, we still got some softness in here if I want it, but I don't need it. It's there if I want it. I gotta come from the back, because the back's a bit, something not right. So now we're gonna soften this line out. And then I'm going to slowly try to stop wetting the hair because I'll be finishing this cut with scissor. So I think she's been pre-cut underneath here before. I'm not going to shave the underneath. But I've got to get it wet under here so that I can... so I can really get the blade in softly. Ian has a question for you. Yes, Ian. He said, when working this cool haircut from the sides into the back, what angle are you taking and why? Well, I took a diagonal, a diagonal back section following the kind of shape of the hairline and the angle of the blade I kind of hit on a 45, which gives me softness. This is like a 45 right now. It gives me softness. Um, not too wispy, but I can still get a definitive finish on the length. It's hard for you to see what's happening here. It's always harder to cut off a little in the razor, but you might be able to see. This side's piecier, this side's denser. This is very thick, and this side's piecier. So I'm trying to get pieciness over here, and I'm trying to soften that line out, okay? Morgan says, I'm your man in Boca, mate. I'm still with TBG, but free to play with you. Awesome, let's do it, my friend. Boca, yeah? Did he say Boca? Uh -huh. I have a place not too far from Boca. So we'll be in touch, Ron. Hit me up on Instagram. My Instagram account, Nick Arojo. So this is a 45 degree angle. And I'm just knocking out and softening. But still keeping the edge. Now whatever you've got in your fingers is what you've left on the head. So you can see what you have there. Softness, but it still kind of forms a line. Morgan says, thanks. Uh, Hinsu says, like sushi and pasta. Whoa, Hinsu, yeah. Come around here. I'm teaching you, Rebecca. <laughs> yeah. That's it, that's the safe, that's the safe side. Because ah. I can't hit you with the razor. And you can't hit me. More the point. So I'm using more the flat of the blade here. Yeah, the blade moves around. Think of it, don't just think of it as a, the scissor only kind of cuts one way. 
the razor connects differently. Bring her over. Bring over my ballerina. She can sit right there. Now we're getting a low battery. Now you're getting a low battery. Okay, so spin around. We got a short card too. That's the problem. Just jump up a second. I'll come to you. Take your seat. Pull that chair away. What was that? Pull that chair away so I've got more room. Thanks. We don't want to lose it. I'll just play to you, so you stay right there, Rebecca, okay? I think this is a pretty good angle, yeah? Yep. So I'll just stay here, fine teeth the comb, flatter the blade, and just knock that hair out. Hopefully next week, we will be back in Brooklyn. Yeah, we couldn't go to Brooklyn last week because uh, they cut the water off. Don't you love having a business in New York? Cut the water off, and then this week we have a training. So I said, well, the training, I may as well stay here because uh, it'll be noisy everywhere. So we have lots of training here. So just working all the way up the back. It's okay. collapse that out and I'm gonna lift it I'm gonna lift it I'm just gonna take a little out here this is tipping Todd has a comment yeah uh, he says Nick Rojo is one of the pioneers of our industry and offer free online education is a gift uh, take the opportunity to ask questions we lost a pioneer during the holidays or I or you we are all oh, bay Arib, I know everyone thinks it's Arib. Oh. Arbe. We are grateful to have you. Thanks a lot, Todd. See that? It's looking good. And then, you know, if she wants to look more Joan of Arkish, she pulls it back like that. And then she's a gangster because she's got a tattoo on her neck. Mysterious gangster. Stay there, Rebecca, I'll come to you. Let's have a little peekaboo. Yeah, it's there. Oh, we got a little tongue too. See that? <laughs> what happens young cute girls put their tongue out and uh, seasoned sexy ladies flare their nostrils <laughs> in the mirror when they're looking at themselves <laughs> and old truck drivers like me we just try and stretch our necks out <laughs> yeah. and she says truly amazing watching your blades move would you remember what year you picked up and tried straight blade? I know you did not use it as Susu. I know exactly when I picked it up in Sue. I uh, picked it up in 1992. was when I first picked up the razor. I started hairdressing in 1982. So 10 years without. When I first picked up the razor, I used to hold the razor like this. I had a different razor, it was shorter. And I used to move like this. That's how I used to do it. And it was very, just very limited. Over the years I've evolved and the blade has become much more of a uh, more fluid tool in my, in, my, in my fingers. Good question. Ian says, Nick, when using this angle at the back to the side, is there points on where you're working to? Well, I am kind of wanting to, I already cut the length this way, Ian. So we kind of got the length here, but she, she had a, 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 a blunt line. So I'm not trying to take a lot of hair off, but I'm actually trying to diffuse it. So I'm kind of working to the corner that I cut from the front. So yes, there is a working line, but it's very, it's very, um, I want to say it's loose. And I'll tell you why I say it's loose. It's because she's not, she's not precious about the hair as a client she knows kind of what she wants and she gave me some variations of what she's into and uh and i'm just making it work if she was like only take off a half an inch or an inch she'd be more 
I want to say high maintenance, but I'd have to be more cautious. So you'll see it's a lot looser in the haircut because I want it to be very loose. Okay, it's okay. I'll spin around. Because he says so you were 27. Ah, I was uh, 27, yes. He did the math for you. Thank you. I was actually younger. I was younger. I started hair. I'm sorry, 27 years since. Yes. I came to America when I was 28. That was in 94. I just had a birthday and I'm 32. So, stay youthful. Enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. Hello, Lenny. Lenny, come here. You got Led Zeppelin on. What do you have? I have Iron Maiden. Is this like a, is this like a studio outfit? Yeah. <laughs> and what do you have? Oh, this is like an indie brand. Oh. <laughs> it's like oh. To like a Next week you're gonna have, uh, you know, ACDC. Where's your band I just got my uh, undies. Uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> on my undies. Yeah. No, 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 uh, who is it who I like? Motorhead. Oh, okay. Motorhead, yeah. Right at the front it says Motorhead, be careful. Todd's got his queen shirt on. Good. Okay, so now let's just have a little... I think we're like 95% done, yeah? Think it looks good? I love that, yeah. So I'll go with a scissor, because now I don't need to wet the hair. If I go with a scissor, I don't need to wet it. I can just kind of clean it up with a scissor. And you want to shake it around. Let the air get in. So as I loosen this out, this dries the hair out. It just lets the hair, remember she's got a lot of hydro mist in. Sometimes it's good to work with more product in the hair. I have some great products though for this hair texture. And I think all that hydro mist is, is going to help it a lot. You got me a dryer over here too, babe? Yeah. Alright, let's just have a look. Let's just do a little refining with my uh, BMAC shears. I just got sent some new scissors from a company called Arc. So I'm going to try them out. I'm going to try them out this week. Today. Brand new scissors to try out. Excited by that. Sometimes you can come from the back and it gives you kind of a razory feel and then you can come on the edges to kind of toughen. You don't make it too perfect. Because this kind of haircut looks good when it looks like kind of she did it. Yeah? It doesn't have to look. You don't want to make it look too contrived, too perfect. I'm gonna come through this way and then soon it's gonna be finishing time. Just going to clean up just a little. Let the hair up. Just looking to see whether there's a, yeah, a little bit of thickness on those ends will help it. So she did the color herself. She wanted to look like a dusty, beaten up, acid washed rose. Yeah, and she got it. Ian says, uh, one, he says you're a brilliant flute player and Hacienda DJ in the 80s. So that's I really was a good DJ at the Hacienda. And then two. Which was the best club in England. He says, uh, as you always young. say, use the motto, what are you looking for when looking in the mirror with this haircut? Okay, so number one, I'm using this wide tooth comb. And all I'm just looking for is I'm looking to see what, if, if there's anything I don't like. Because I kind of like everything that I see right now, but I'm looking for what I don't like. So when you push the hair around, you're just looking to see, you're trying to see how it's going to look. And you're looking for weight, density, air, airiness, yeah, and, and if there's any kind of like weird dollop in pieces. Let me spin around because, uh, so as we're looking in here, I'm looking to see. There you go. So I'm focusing right here to see whether this, because this was cut short before. 
looking to see how that diffuses in. So like right there, just needs a little chip, chip, chip. Right in here, I'm just gonna take the, just a little bit of the hairline out. It's kind of nice the way it's naturally developed. Just in here, but just lightly. A little scissor over comb. And then just let that pull play in. I'm just resting my, my blade on my hand as if I was on the edge of the pool table just to steady it. And in here, let's just take out some of that looseness. Because the hair grows this way, I push it down. And then I'll come in here and just very lightly just clean that up just a little bit. Just get that little bit of diffusion. So we still keep the shape of it. And you know, you can always point cut too. Hello, Ronnie. What happened? Yeah? What happened? Something happened to her. And I'm going to find out what it is. There's something happened. Where did you go? Florida. Florida. Did they do those like button glasses? Is that what happened? Because I think I'm going to get them. Oh, color my hair. Same color as yours. Sound like an old gray guy. Something happened. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. To the bottom of it. <laughs> oh shoot. Alright, I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're done. I think we've felt pretty good, yeah? Five minutes, just a second. Yeah, now we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Maria says, love this cut. Thanks. Now let's do this. This is what we'll do now. We'll take all this hair off her. Don't see any more tattoos poking out. She's covered in them, she said. She's like a. Uh, Roll all the hair off. Oh, there's a dagger. He's got a dagger here and a new sword. Did that hurt on your neck? No, not at all, actually. Didn't hurt at all? No. So no product, just what we've already got in it. But I am going to use two products. Get me the refinish and get me the dry conditioner. Hello. Oh, uh, come over. It's t-shirt day. Oh. What's this? Blitz. 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 Nice, soft, gentle. Another punk band. A punk band. <laughs> for for Nikki's to learn about. <laughs> Blitz, baby. Who can we jump in this chair? So sometimes it's nice to blow dry with very little product in. Notice how I can pull it down or I can bust it up and you can blow it down. You can see if you want to see the before, you can go to the consultation that we did. It's on another Facebook uh, um, kind of film that we did. I'm going to take that off here. Yeah? I'm going to take those two. Who designed those tattoos on your knuckles? Is that you? Oh, um, no, I got a big Steve. Big Steve? Yeah. It's How big is it? Pretty big. It's pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> so good old Big Steve. Where's he at? Fun City? Yeah, on St. Mark's. St. Mark's? Yeah. Oh, it still exists. Nice thing out there. This is our dry shampoo. So this is going to add volume and texture. It's not just a dry shampoo, it's a volumizer. So this is going to give it like a bit of grit. You can see it changing the hair straight away. So this is gonna kind of rough it off, which will work well. So you can see now it's gone from being so fluffy, so you can kind of see the activity of it. And Sue says she looks beautiful. Nick has not changed a bit. Ah. Tanya says beautiful, Greg says love it. Good. And now we're gonna add the finishing touch, which is this. So think of that 
as the foundation structure and it's given the hair some real guts and strength but this is a silk web so now this is going to soften it softens it marissa says this looks like a great ibs show main stage cut oh yes it does well we're doing the ibs main stage maybe we'll bring her back if she likes it she'll come back yeah and we'll make it like a, uh, uh, we'll turn her into a green jellyfish. Acid. Acid color. Sandra says that's the best dry shampoo on the market. It, this, it, you know, breast dry shampoo, breast dry conditioner. Hold on to that. Now let's just do a finishing touch. And we'll go back to my first model. Let's do a little finishing touch here. Just blow dry that hair in. So the, 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 um, the dry conditioner, look at the texture the dry conditioner gets, see? Can you see that? You can probably unplug now because we're getting close. But look at that. Let's bring the, um, the ring light down here. Sure. Yeah, we'll put it against the red wall. So the dry conditioner, what the dry conditioner does is it just gives it, see like that light texture? So it's not fuzzy but it's not oily. It just adds that little bit of uh, kind of lived in ropiness. And mixed with the dry shampoo, the, the refinish. Now the dry conditioner is like $24 and our dry shampoo is $29. Two brilliant products. says any good high mass shops in Brooklyn haha great cuts <laughs> <laughs> plenty of good shops everywhere I think so happy love it good okay let's go over here stay there we're almost finished turn the light on so I'm gonna stand up a second I'm gonna slide my ballerina in in here did she dry it Right, so this was diffused right, and now let's just speed it up, take her into the wind, cold speed, take her into the wind. You can't mess it up, get me the glint, can't mess it up, so two laser cuts today, two different types of texture, once this pro this has been locked in with our cream whip, and our waveness, look at how nice that texture is. Just loosen it up because we kind of, we just literally didn't mess with it when it was, when it was drying. Seam up. Don't be scared of the hair guys. Don't be scared of that. Don't be scared you're gonna mess it up. Get your hand in, don't be scared of it. This is on high speed but cold air. Come on, tell me. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> Very American. That's my American. How are you? I want to date you. How are you? All right, that's good. American Wave. This is Glint. This is an amazing product. American Wave, we've actually won three awards. This is like, think it, this is a texture and shine spray. It's called Glint. It adds texture and definition. But what it also, is kind of think of it as like a light spray wax. Kind of gives it a little bit more, it'll give it more definition and sheen. See that? Just kind of adds a little bit more magic into the hair. The same thing here. How's this smell? Oh lovely. Oh lovely. Yeah, this is a great fragrance. Developed by one of my great friends who's my perfumer. His name's Andy. He's got a great team of perfumers and he's been in the he's been in the business for years and he's really helped um, 
me with a Rojo product. And he's helped with many other product lines out there too. But we really got some real signature fragrances for a Rojo. Thanks, Andy. All right, ladies. All that we have to do now is come over to the red wall. That's our finish. To the red wall, right here. There we go. Stand here. You come through here, next to each other. Here through here. Let's have a look and see. Oh, what's this? It's like a ah, uh, yeah, it's a disco. <laughs> disco. You. We both look good, yeah? So cute. Very cute. Okay, we'll take some pictures, we'll post them. We'll say goodbye to everybody. That's, there she is. That's Rebecca. Hello. Long hair. Wedges. Dana, the Led Zeppelin. Alex. Jenna. And uh, Crazy Me. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.